Valiant just dropped some amazing updates for their app ecosystem. They made some amazing apps that I already reviewed in my previous videos even better. In today's video, I'm going to show you exactly what has been changed to make these apps so good, starting with the camera app. And this is just crazy. Now when you open it up, it is immediately, as you can see, in 3D, a 3D preview mode. So this is using the rear camera, this camera on the LibriaPad 3D to give a real-time 3D preview so you can see what you're looking at through the camera in 3D as you're taking pictures. So I could take pictures of this stuff, for example, my setup on the desk right now and see it in 3D as I'm doing that, which is just crazy. It's so much better than it was before. Originally, it was a 2D preview with a depth map on the upper left-hand side so you could see in black and white using a depth map how much depth there is approximately. And you can actually switch back over to that mode by clicking toggling off the 3D mode right here, that'll bring you right back to this original 2D preview mode where you take pictures and reference this depth map to understand how much depth is going on. But now with the 3D preview mode, I feel like I'm never going to be using this again, and I'm going to explain why. Toggle it back to 3D, and some of the cool things you can do with this are instead of having it autofocus, it defaults to autofocus with the camera, but that doesn't always work perfectly, so you can manually adjust the level of convergence and monitor it in 3D directly by adjusting this convergence slider here. You see if I slide it way up, the convergence gets completely whack. But if I adjust it a little bit, I can bring it right to the sweet spot. And the coolest thing about this is that it locks in place. I can move the camera around and tilt it left and right and up and down. It's not going to stray from this perfect level of depth that I have set. So when you're taking pictures, this is so convenient. I can just snap a picture here and then aim this way and snap another picture and the convergence won't be thrown off. It's so handy. And then if I want to zoom back and focus on something further in the background, for example, I can easily do that and focus on the window right there and get that perfectly aligned. That's stable now. So this is an incredible feature and you can view it directly in 3D as you're taking these pictures. The other amazing thing about this is that now you can literally pinch to zoom and when you zoom it's still in 3d your convergence adjustments hold for that too even if i capture a photo of something zoomed in in 3d quality of that photo is actually still really really clear it gives you a little preview here in the bottom corner and if you click on that you can view the photo you just took immediately just to confirm that's as good as you think it is but it is pretty much guaranteed to be because you can see in 3d in real time how it's going to turn out just by looking at the screen as you take the photo. But it's not just photos, you can take videos this way too. So in real time, as you're taking a video, I'm gonna start taking a video now, and just do this, and you can see that it's in 3D, and you can move around and take a video and monitor. You can see exactly what you're taking in 3D in video form in real time. And the amazing thing about this is that the convergence slider works as you're taking the video. So if you feel like something gets off, you can readjust the convergence along the way during the middle of your 3D video and you can see that happening in 3D. It's just insane, just completely mind-blowing technology. And then of course, in your videos, this is still recording, you can zoom in and out and it'll capture all of this in 3D and you can watch it in 3D as you're doing it. There are some other minor things that have been tweaked or added for this update in the camera. Uh, I just wanted to show you the main things because these are so revolutionary for a 3D tablet like this and I think this is game changing enough where I would say if you're interested at all in 3D or photos or both for sure that this is now not really a tablet that's worth considering it's a must-have and the company behind this Leia has shown through these updates over time that they're super committed and that they're gonna do great things this is nowhere near the end of what they have planned the next update is for the media player I would argue that it's equally revolutionary for a 3D tablet like this because it brings some features that were highly demanded, requested by a lot of people, and make so much sense to have in a 3D tablet. If we open up Leia Player and go to the camera roll, you can see the videos that I just took in 3D. So this all seems kind of the same as usual, but what's different, if you look to the left, you might notice that there's a new option here. Finally, micro SD card coverage directly from within Leia Player. So now you have access to your micro SD card that might have all of your 3D movies stored on them, thousands of 3D photos or things that you've accumulated over time. There's a micro SD slot right here. So I have my micro SD inside my Nubia Pad 3D. And now from within Leia Player, there's the option to access that directly. 
and I just go to the DCIM folder and I have these different folders with pictures that I've captured in the past. I'm gonna open up one of the folders really quick. Now, as you can see here, I'm accessing this batch four folder within my micro SD card directly from Layer Player. And if I click and open a photo, it opens it up directly in 3D. You can even just browse one at a time and it stays in 3D. This is something that was not possible on the NubiaPad 3D and the LoonPad 2 before. This feature wasn't built into Layer Player, but now it is. So it's so handy and it just makes it so much more usable for people who use micro SD cards or want to store a bunch of 3D media. If you need more storage space, you can have a bunch of micro SD cards, store a bunch of files on it, and then put them in your tablet and then view all the media files on it that way without having to use the very limited storage space that comes with the base model tablet or even the maximum storage model. That's the first really cool thing about the layer player update, but there's another one that really is exciting to me. And that is the fact that they added in a focus slider and a depth slider to edit photos that you convert into 3D. So for example, this photo, this image is in 2D. And if you click this 2D to 3D button here, it will immediately convert the photo into 3D and it'll ask you if you want to replace the original or create a new file, I'll just replace it. The quality of this 3D conversion is actually really solid to begin with. This default conversion setting has a level of depth about like this. So I would say it's coming about this far off the screen. You can see right here how, how it turned out in 3D. But if we go into the editing tools, you can see that there's a focus adjustment button and then a depth adjustment button. You can see that by sliding this depth slider all the way to the top, it maxes out the depth for the image. You can do so much more with this now. Not just this type of image, but actual photos taken on your iPhone or your Android phone. You can do the same thing because as long as they don't start out in 3D, you can bring them onto your tablet, push this button, convert them to 3D, and then make these adjustments. I'm gonna adjust the focus so it actually looks clean. And I'd say this is a good level, so I'm gonna save the image, overwrite existing, and this is the final result. So it turns out really, really good, crazy quality 3D. Now the level of pop out is here rather than like really close to the screen. But another feature that's been added that I think is equally as exciting is the fact that we now have finally VR 180 photo support, not just 180 VR videos, but 180 VR photos are now fully functional with this tablet. So you can see moving this around, I have this static 180 VR photo in 3D that now is compatible with Leia Player. If you have a camera that takes 180 VR photos or if you've taken them over time but haven't really had a convenient way to view them, this is by far going to be the most convenient option that you have. All you have to do is store them on the micro SD and put it in your NubiaPad 3D or LoomPad 2 and then you can just open up Leia Player and view these. This combined with 360 3D VR, 180 VR video, and 360 and 180 VR photos makes Leia Player a really full-blown functioning media player for a 3D tablet. Now the final one I'm going to show you today is the Leia Viewer update, which I think is also really, really fantastic. When you open up Leia Viewer, you're at your home screen, but you can click right here to head straight over to Sketchfab. So it's now seamlessly integrated into Sketchfab and it'll pull up by default, I think, just models that have been added by random people this week. And you can change that to models added today or just search by category and then click on the model and then download it. It'll be in your home screen, all these models that you can view. So I'm just gonna click on one. The UI update is really next level. It is the sleekest, smoothest UI I have seen from Leia in any of their 3D apps and their ecosystem. I'm blown away by this one. It's essentially perfect. Move the model around. It is so smooth and feels so good to adjust it this way. Zoom in and out. You can tap to remove all the UI elements. So now you just have your model in 3D and you can enjoy looking at it or adjusting the position and again zooming in and out. Tap again to bring the UI stuff back up. Depth slider on the right and you can toggle on and off 3D. On the left you can turn the animation off with a click and then turn the animation back on with another click. Then there are material options that I said went away in my review of this app are now back so I can switch to carbon and then again get rid of this uh, UI to look at this check out the models in different textures just freely position the lighting so you can see it's smoothly changing on the x-axis or the y-axis and then you can even add a certain color to it so if I want the light to be purple for example 
I just set it to purple and then adjust the position. And if I exit this menu, now we have this like metallic model of this lizard under purple lighting. Get rid of the UI. And um, this is such a sleek, smooth interface that's easy to work with, feels great to use. It makes me really excited about testing out models like this, looking around on Sketchfab to see if I can find some cool models and download them and just play around like this and then show it to people because this is like one of the highlights of this 3D tablet, the fact that it perfectly in 3D shows models and makes them really pop off the screen and then you can view them in such a smooth, seamless way. It's really unbelievable and they've done a fantastic job with this update. Another handy thing is that when I exit this model, it actually saves the updates that I made to it. So if you notice, I go back down to that model and you can see now this lizard is still purple, it's still metallic. It means that it remembers those settings that I last used on that model. And that's really cool. Normally, it would just revert to the way it was originally when you returned to view it again. But this is cool if you wanna position a model just the right way under just the right lighting with the texture and material that you want, this is a very handy feature. I noticed some textures now load better for certain models that didn't previously, so they've increased the compatibility also, and I think that's gonna to continue to progress over time. But I would say this app now is almost fully complete. It's near perfect, and the UI itself, and the way it feels to use is already literally perfect. Super satisfied with the way this has turned out, and these updates are just really, really exciting. The final one is Lay of Frame. They've just added performance updates. They made it smoother. It's very quick to open up with the photos that you've already added to your slideshow, and I can just click Slideshow. I can do Shuffle, six seconds per slide, and start it. And now it'll begin the slideshow. It's just a fun app to have if you have people over, relatives or friends and you just want to set your tablet up to the side and play a slideshow or photos of you or photos of you and them in 3D. I think people will be just naturally gravitate towards it and be like, whoa, what is this? This is awesome. These pictures, are these in 3D? These are beautiful. With the improved camera features, now you can, in every single situation and angle, take the best photo possible in 3D and get the best results and you can see it in real time and then play it on the slideshow for people to see. I think it's a really cool thing, really cool option to have and I do like this app. It's not one of the ones I use the most frequently for obvious reasons, but I do think it is a great thing that Leia makes this available and really awesome that they've put in the time and effort to make it more optimized and smooth and easy to use. And that's pretty much it for today's video. I just was blown away by these updates. I thought I had to share it with all of you. I'm excited for what's to come, and there's so much more that I have to share with you about these 3D tablets, 3D display laptop. By the way, this game, Okami, came out around when I was in high school, and I played it for the PlayStation 2. And it has now been fully adapted to, to 3D gaming on glasses-free 3D displays on this PC. I am playing through it now, planning to do a review of this, and. If you're interested, check out that video when it drops because I'm going to be giving my thoughts on the quality of the 3D in this game, how an original PlayStation 2 title looks when you bring it to, to high resolution 3D on an incredible display like this. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and subscribe to my channel. I'm excited to bring you more videos like this. Um, thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.